welcome to the history hunter and our small adventures with the, with the world war ii time frame look at this look at this scenery everyone we're so happy we're on this road trip looking for the past and we're definitely going to show you something very very special today So, welcome to this location. We're gonna see if we can show you different kinds of things here. Uh, it's huge, it's absolutely massive. And there are so many small clues of uh, what happened here. Just have a look there. Right there is a small clue. Next there is another small clue in the cliff side. And we're going up here first, just to have a look at the uh, position up here. and. Uh, throw in a few surprises on the way and uh, I think you'll enjoy this location just as much as as we will huge structure there looks like it could have been barrack foundation maybe that's where you went into the cellar climbing up a small hill here I'm not sure whether this is the right entry point but uh, I think wow look at that Holy Madonna, look at the size of this thing, holy Madonna, wow, this is in Norway, you can see the same on the Danish side of this uh, stretch of sea that they were covering and these 38 centimeter cannons could cover half the distance towards Denmark and uh, the Danish could cover the rest and a minefield in between the Germans could cover the whole strait between Norway, Denmark, Sweden and the end and three in towards the Soviet waters absolutely everywhere there are pieces just laying around here there's a huge panzer plate very thick panzer plate it's like impossible to transfer the feeling of being right here uh, the pure size and scale is almost like unbelievable and you can see here I'm hoping there's not too much glare on the lens there but hey look at that enormous pit I'm not sure whether they had a cannon here or not but uh, Wow, what a fantastic achievement of design and construction. Here are the stairs going down to the back side. I really love it when it's away from the, there's a museum exhibition area here. But when you come into these kinds of areas, and no one normally goes, then, it's, then it gets even more exciting. Oh, I can see they shut it in there. That's too bad. Look at the sheer size of this thing. Come on, son, take it easy. Look at the sheer size. There we are. Look at that. This is the back side. Too bad they shut it in. Look at that. Looks like the wolf chancer. Huge bunkers in the forest. Wow. see that is actually the railroad you can see some kind of arrangement here to turn around the uh, the uh, ammo cart cart going in yeah it's right here this is the end station and if we follow this over here you can see that the iron bars are still here just as it was at that time look at here there's another one this was attached here I'm just imagining the ammo train coming in here, delivering its ammo and heading back to the other cannon station. Papa. Wow, look at that. 
It's like seeing something from the past. Wow. Ventilation up there. I'm just so blown away by this place. It's so fantastic to wandering around here freely and look at it. Just saw a very special detail here. Look at that. That is the stock pilage of all the, the railroad tracks. It's just everywhere. Look at that. They must have picked it up around the terrain. That's the original whales that this train is going on. And they stacked it up here. So this is uh, probably a spear they have for year. It's like absolutely impossible for me to inform you about every bunker, what its purpose was and everything. But this one, I'm thinking, or is it the communication bunker? You see, it's kind of a pole up there. I do think it is a communication bunker. All of them are like heavy duty, very thick. Inside in the forest there, they had the exercise training field area. And there are also barracks and stuff like that. But it's completely overgrown. Can't see anything and it's just mosquitoes, snakes, and all kinds of nasty little buggers who want to take you or sting you. Look at that, two turrets, very often used on land from a tank and they made that turret to fit on a small bunker on land. You had periscope, you had the gun attachment, machine gun, a small cannon. Wow, look at that. You can see inside the optics for looking outside, looks like it's still there. You can shut that. See the color on the inside. There's actually a number there. One five eleven two nine two. Wow, that is so exciting. Heavy duty stuff. Look at the rivets. A lot of rivets. Uh, this one was kind of swivel like. Had a machine gun pointing out there. Cannon was in the middle. Wow. On some of these, you can find the original serial number. I'm not sure. I've seen that before on constructions like this. Um, look at that. It's the side of it. Look at that crack there. Huge crack in the metal itself. Oh, very, very special. Train passes here. Some kind of. Look at that. All the way down there. Continues up here. Saw something here. Is that an ammo bunker? Wow, buzzing. Just so exciting. Look at that. Could easily have been an ammo bunker. Yeah, it's closed off. It has the panzer door. Look at the electrics there. All in that electrical connection box. Wow, is that cool or what? Just looking at the foundation here, just looking down on the edge here, and look at that, that is pretty wild, look at that, where is it, yeah, can you see it, I thought that was something, that's just a piece of coal, look at that, that is a genuine, wow, looks like brand new, that's a here button, German Wehrmacht uniform button, wow, yeah, my son is leading the way. We're definitely gonna come up here and have a look. See, this is right on the top of the whole area. Holy, look at that. That must have been a huge barrack area. Yeah. See those stairs here? So cleverly built with the original material from the area. Wow. Just imagine the view when the trees weren't here, waking up in the morning. Oh, that is insane. Well, my son, <laughs> it's amazing. He was sitting here and he saw something. Okay, son, let's have a look at it together. We haven't touched it. Do you want to take it? Yes. Okay, let's have a look at it. Come on, you can take it out. You can take it out and show us what it is. 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Let, let me see it first. Let's see if I can get people down there. Are you kidding me? What? Let me see, let me see. Don't drop it. What the? Wait, I have to close off the sun here. Let's take out that cap. Let's see it, let's see it. Oh, this is a bit of a chaos. So much sun here, look at that. Are you freaking kidding me? Don't drop it. That is... Oh my god. Is that riding behind there? You gotta be kidding me. Was it right there? Yes. And you didn't touch it? Yes. How the heck is that possible? <laughs> That's my son in a nutshell. Holy Madonna. I'm getting not, I'm guessing not too many would bother to walk up here. To me that looks like a, could be a flak position. Entrance there, let's go up here. Oh, it's steep, wow. Could be a searchlight. I don't see any ammo pockets. There's a bunker down there, it's been shot. So I'm guessing a searchlight or a radar arrangement. And uh, it's almost on the top. So you can understand why it was here. There's the thing on the top here. Bunker underneath us. And then the railroad down there. Ah, it's so cool. There's something down there. And I know for sure that the 88 millimeters and the flak was further down there. Not a huge bunker. Not too sure what that is. Could be ammo storage, I think it is, because because it's next to the railroad here. It's a few small openings. Yeah, it's gotta be ammo bunkers. You see the railroad going here. This is very special. Walking on the same path as the train drove during the wartime years, delivering the munition to the to the cannons. My son is so eager. He's got he's got a stamina like a horse. He's just six years old, but he's so strong. Always in front of me, want to see things and find things. When he found that kicks me in a button there, I almost, I almost cried. It's like unbelievable how much luck you can have. <laughs>